Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a walkthrough video for Division to 10 by 10. This is Sheet 3 from MassSalamanders.com. If you're here watching this, you already know Mass Salamanders has great resources, but I will include a link in the description below if you want to check out more. So this says, how well do you know your division table? What I like about this worksheet is it makes you go forward and backwards with a lot of these operations. So your standard uh, kind of division here is this first set. Okay, it actually goes down to 10. But this first set is your standard division. Something divided by 2 equals 4. So we're thinking to ourselves, what can we divide into two groups equal 4? So this is kind of like your intro. If you want to skip ahead to skip the intro, that's fine. But what do we divide into two groups? And then each one of those groups is going to have four things. If you wanted to, what you could do is you could just simply, all right, I know I'm going to be dividing into two groups. Now I know I want four things in each one of those groups. So if I put four into each groups, and then what I do is I just simply count the total, and then that will tell me what number I started with. So I have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight divided by two equals four. Now, another way to consider this is simply say, okay, I know that I'm going to start with a big number. I'm dividing it and it's going to get smaller, I can go backwards by multiplying. So I can say 4 times 2 gives me that missing number also. Okay, So math is all about going forwards and backwards. So if you understand that division is the reverse of multiplication, you can simply use multiplication to get back to the division. You understand how that works? Okay, so pretty cool. And again, here we have divided by 10. So that one's going to be hard to draw 10 circles. Okay, so actually I'm going to use the multiplication method for this one. I know that if I have 5 in each group and I have 10 groups, what I started with was 50. And so 50 divided by 10, does it equal 5? Yes, it does. Now this one's going to be easy to demonstrate with groups. Let me show you how that would look. So we have 3 groups that we're dividing into here. That's that 3. And I know that I have six in each group. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I were to count all of these groups together, I would have 18. So a couple different ways to think about it. You could probably just breeze through these. Honestly, I would use this method where you multiply. That's probably the quickest thing to do. But um, yeah, let's get into more of the another stand, uh, standard of division. And that's thinking about 40 divided by something equals 5. A little bit different now, okay? So now we know what the total was, and we're told this is the how many groups we had, right? Now we don't know how many groups there were, okay? So we, we know we had 40 total. So if we're thinking 40 total dots, that one's going to be hard to draw. Off. So we have 40 total, and we end up with 5 in each group. So we're looking for the number of groups, okay? Another way to think of this just like I said before, is you can say five times, okay, that means times. I'm going to use the X. I used that before, but I prefer the dot. Five times something equals 40. So if you want, you can just start counting up. So five, 10, that's five times two. Five times three is 15. Five times four, okay, and you keep going from there if you want, okay? Now, if you know your multiplication tables pretty well, that's what's going to be helpful, okay? So as we go through these multiples here, I see that 8 times 5 equals 40. That's my missing value right there, is 8. Okay, so that's how I can do it. Knowing my multiples, working my way up to the number for the total, and then I can get it that way. Okay, this one's actually number 12 is going to be a little bit easier. I can think to myself, 10 times something equals 60. Okay, it's this one's a little tough to, to visualize. But 10 times something equals 60, going in reverse. Multiplication is reverse to division. And I know that 10 times 6 is 60. Again, if you don't know, 10, 20, count up, 30, 40 with the multiples. And we get to 60, and that is 10 times 6. Okay, I did that off to the side, so hopefully you saw that. Um, some of these other ones are going to be a little bit easier. So like 2 times 6 would be 12. Uh, these are kind of your standard, so I'm jump down to 17 here. 6 times 7, okay? Those are kind of like your times tables. So if you can do your times tables through 12, you're definitely going to be able to do your division, okay? 
Now, all these ones over here on the right side are just mixed together. So it just really keeps you on your toes. And at the bottom it says, see how quickly and accurately you can fill this in. So my first suggestion is to do accurately first, okay? Definitely make sure that you're doing this accurately and then work on the speed from there, okay? So the more you work on it and practice it, even if it's the same one, if you were to like print out this worksheet, which you can do, and then uh, and then fill it out, and then print out another one and fill it out, the more you do it, the more it's gonna become muscle memory, and the better you're gonna get at it. Okay, so let's just do a couple more, and then we'll finish up. So 54 divided by something, again, we can just take these two numbers for all of these, and use it as a multiplication problem, okay? So I'm highlighting these. Maybe this is a, another uh, good way for you to understand it. Okay, so I'm saying here, six times something equals 54. I know that's nine. Okay, this one, I didn't highlight it. Let me go ahead and do that. Eight times, this time we know, we just don't know the total. Eight times four is 32. So 32 divided by four is gonna be eight. 10 times eight equals 80. I'm going to reverse here. So these two times each other is gonna equal that total one. Two times seven, four times six, nine times uh, seven, okay, seven times seven, I didn't highlight it, you get the idea, and then let's do eight times six, okay, and if you guys need more of these, go ahead and leave a comment, okay, I have a channel that covers tons of math salamanders worksheets if you want to check out more of those, either way, I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.